What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, I know I was supposed to go ahead and post a Hello Infinite video today, but I decided to go ahead and push that one back because I want to get my first initial impressions on the stream. So if you guys want to check that out, today I will be live streaming over on my Twitch channel. Link to that is down in the description. At about 2 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to be hitting up the brand new Halo Infinite update. We're going to see what it's like, see the battle pass, and also check out the two new maps, the one for Arena and also the big team battle map as well. Hopefully everything is going to turn out good. Eh, only time is going to tell but instead as a replacement for that video i decided to go ahead and put together this battlefield 2042 video instead because surprisingly i guess lucky enough for me some new information has been data mined for battlefield 2042 and sad to say it's probably not the best thing that you guys are going to want to hear today but before we get into the bad news let's get some positive things out of the way as you guys know i like to discuss both sides of the story on this channel so uh, there's always some positives even though there's negatives and this skin right here actually looks pretty darn good. It seems like the direction that DICE is trying to push with 2042 is gradually changing over time, and I love it. If you guys remember, there was a list that showcased so many just insane concept ideas, sounding like they were trying to change Battlefield into Call of Duty or Overwatch or something like that, where, you know, they have clowns and a bunch of that stuff running around the field. And, you know, a lot of us thought that list was confirmed because we saw one of the outfits come alive, which was kind of that cowboy-like outfit. It wasn't really like a cowboy outfit, I guess I should say, but it had the hat. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But that was the beginning. And we knew since we saw that piece of information, the rest of that list was probably back there. You know, it was a real. And in the matter of time, we're going to be seeing some clowns running on the battlefield. But luckily, the direction has changed. And a lot of these recent camos and skins for these characters that, you know, have been coming to us, like the season pass holder skin that people have gotten for the lack of content, obviously, in the game. It's kind of like a apology skin. That looks great. This skin looks great. It seems the direction is changing. And I like that, because you have to keep in mind, this is a near-futuristic game. I would love a completely modern-day, military-styled game 110%, don't get me wrong, but that's not the theme of Battlefield 2042. Maybe in the next Battlefield game we could see that, but the skins that they are portraying this battle with are actually cool looking, and it fits the battlefield that we're playing on. When I'm running around and I'm looking at people, I'm not thinking, what the hell is that for some of these skins, you know? I'm actually thinking, you know, that, that works! I can understand that, I can see that, and it's not taking me out of the immersive experience, which Battlefield 2042 isn't immersive to begin with, so you know, <laughs> it's already struggling with that. You don't need the skins to be taking me out even further. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could go ahead and keep being positive here, but sadly, we have to go ahead and discuss the real information of today's video. Now, do you guys remember the video I made, I think it was about a couple of weeks ago, discussing one of the new specialists that was data mined by Temporal, obviously, one of the goats who always gives us all this information regarding Battlefield 2042. His name was Hale, and as we discussed, he had a RCXD car. Now, I made the point for myself personally, again, I'm not a genius, I don't know if this is going to be true or not, but I think personally... That hail is going to be used as a pub stomper's dream. You know, realistically, on paper, it sounds cool. You know, you can give intel to your team. You can, you know, you can affect tanks and vehicles. You can really, you know, strategize with that. But in the hands of the community, let's be honest here, it's going to be someone just, you know, sitting in the back of the map or just literally calling them in every five seconds because it's not a, you know, a gadget or something that you have on the side, like a grenade or something like that, that you only have one of. No, it's your specialist ability. It's going to respawn multiple times in one life, especially if you stay alive. So people are just going to sit there and keep respawning these RCXT cars <laughs> and destroying infantry with them. That's going to be the purpose of this character. And... Right there and then, I saw that this game was literally supposed to be much worse than it is right now. If they were to release more of these specialists, it would have been very dangerous. And this new specialist further confirms that theory. Now, I'm warning you right now, if you don't want to get triggered or salty or anything of that sort, do not watch what's about to pop up on your screen because it might make you go blind. It's just insane it really truly is i don't know what the developers were thinking when they put this specialist together i'm assuming that's why it's not in the official build of the game just yet you know it might not even be coming it might just be a concept that got ditched and it's still in the files but regardless there is rumored you know specialists to be coming out in the future all of these specials that we have talked about could be those rumored specials that are going to be released within the next upcoming seasons now 
Here we go. We're just going. <laughs> We're just going to start off here. The first ability is Ghost Walker. Going prone removes you from the enemy combat network. You are undetectable when prone and can crawl faster than other specialists. Target acquired. When you aim down the sight of your weapon, you automatically spot enemies, reporting them to the combat network. Improved repair tool. Repair and upgrade asset at an exponentially faster rate. When this specialist is inside a vehicle, that vehicle continuously replenishes health. Eyes in the sky. You automatically spot enemies while you are airborne and electrified barbed wire <laughs> damaging enemies nearby the barbed wire now i mean just with the first ability come on dice please like just reading that didn't even sound normal I i'm going to be completely real with you just reading it made me feel a little uncomfortable going prone removes you from the enemy combat network you are undetectable when prone and can crawl faster <laughs> So you're just going to, you're telling me that you are completely, un nobody can spot you, nobody can see you, if you get spotted by a drone or anything of that sort, all you have to do is go prone. And I'm assuming the specialists, if this is one of their abilities, they're going to be all gillied up. You know, this specialist outfit is going to be perfect for camouflage, which means that this individual is literally going to play like an absolute camper. Now, I could see some fun in this ability because, you know, this person does have other things like improved repair tool, which is cool, you know, healing tanks and stuff faster. I don't know about the, you know, being inside the vehicle, giving it, you know, nonstop replenishing health. That seems a little funky. I like, you know, actually having to get out and, you know, get hands on with the vehicle. It's more strategic that way, in my personal opinion. And having a specialist that's good at that might be kind of fun. But like I said, you know... You look at that and then go back and look at Ghost Walker going prone and being undetected completely and crawling faster than your other teammates. It just, those two don't link. They don't even sound similar whatsoever. And then sadly, there's the ability target acquired. When you aim down the sight of your weapon, you automatically spot enemies. Uh, again, I'm going to say it. Dice, why? Why would you do this to us? <laughs> Do you have something against us, man? I know we've been kind of assholes this year, but my goodness, when you aim at them, they're spotted? So you're telling me not only can this specialist not be spotted whatsoever when they're prone, but when they're aiming, they can spot everybody else? Oh, man. This just sounds like a recipe for disaster. And don't forget the last two, eyes in the sky, automatically spotting. That takes the whole purpose of what the spotter in a vehicle is supposed to do. <laughs> You, why would you even have a spotter if you're just going to have a specialist that automatically spots everybody when they're up airborne? I, I don't know about that. And then the electrified barbed wire. Now this, I'm 50-50 with because this kind of brings me back a little bit to the Battlefield 5 vibes where you're able to construct your own, you know, defenses. This might be interesting. But knowing how DICE handled everything else in this game, I don't think it's going to be interesting even in the slightest. It's just going to be an annoyance that's going to be a pain in the butt and mixed with other things like Boris's turret, for example. It's going to be a nightmare, a nightmare to push certain areas and certain flags. I'm just going to say it again because honestly, you can't say it enough. Because if you stop saying it, then they'll just keep pushing with what they're doing. No more specialists. I know they want to make the next game revolve around this specialist theme and they want to build upon the stories of these characters who don't even have a story to begin with with Battlefield 2042, but please don't go that direction, Dice. I'm begging you. The class system is just far superior. The whole community loves it, it's much more simplified, and it makes team play a whole lot more rewarding. And also, these specialists being allowed to recharge their ability 24-7 back to back to back with these types of abilities that aren't even intel. They're all assault abilities. Well, a lot of them are. They're meant to do damage. It's just... Uh, I, I it, It's beyond me. It removes from the team play of this game, and I don't think anybody likes it. I truly do not. And seeing all of these data mined specialists that you have in store, I don't think it's ever going to get better coming into the future. I don't think anybody is really going to get hyped up for a season to come out with a new specialist. You know, they might get hyped up to see new maps, new weapons, but I don't think any of them are going to say, oh my god, a new specialist has barbed wire and is just, you know, going to be prone the whole time. Oh, I gotta hop on Battlefield 2042 for this. You know, I don't think people are going to really end up doing that.
But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you almost hate it, leave a dislike. Also, for brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, on chat me this stories, do so have a Twitter and Discord. Put the link down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams and video games, do over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you all next one. Peace out.